And I want you to be with stillness in the room uh -huh. and just listen to the silence for a moment. Okay, so the first image I want you to picture is a tree. Look at the tree, um, see the branches reaching toward the sky, see the sturdy trunk, its strength and stability that it provides, and see the roots deeply grounded in the soil to weather any storm that comes its way. This tree is your self-reliance. He brought to both guys. <laughs> this tree is your self-reliance. Just like a tree, self-reliance can help you weather the storms of life. Similar to how a tree uses their own resources to produce food through their roots, we as humans also use our resources to feed our growth and self-reliance. Now, I want you to picture the image of the sun. The sun, um, well, picture the glowing rays in the big blue sky, and then feel the warmth of the rays on your skin and how it pierces through your skin and radiates throughout your body. We all have this ray of sunshine in us. It is our self-reliance, it is our power that fuels our self-reliance. Now you can open up your eyes. The tree and the sun live simultaneous lives. We can't have the tree without the nourishment of the sun, uh, just like we can't have self-reliance without the um, power and resources within us. So I had a family friend who um, didn't really develop her own self-reliance because her parents were always telling her what to do. As a result, she felt like a puppet. She didn't know, she didn't trust her own intuition and she didn't have those values grounded within her. Now for me, um, I, had, I was able to develop my own self-reliance at home outside of school because my parents gave me a lot of liberty with my choices. For example, I was allowed to try whatever sports I wanted to try. I was allowed to wear really wacky outfit choices and um, they let me out like that, um, which actually helped me because it helped me develop my own um, sense of self and it helped me trust and be more confident in myself. So um, this self-reliance actually fueled one of the hardest decisions that I had to make and that allowed me to trust myself, obviously, um, with deciding where I wanted to go to college. So my parents, and Emma knows this, um, they loved Albany. Like, they wanted me to go there so badly. And, um, but over the summer, I visited Binghamton, and I really enjoyed Binghamton. I felt like I could push myself there. So I sat down with my parents, or well, the decision rolled around, and I got into both schools. Um, my parents were supportive about Binghamton, but they were adamant about um, Albany because I really got a great education there. They offered me way more money, and um, they just wanted me to go there really badly. Um, but I sat down with them, and I told them that I wanted to go to Binghamton because that's where I felt most comfortable, and that's where I felt like I could expand my knowledge. Um, and the importance of this, and I really want to highlight how um, I relied on myself, and I didn't rely on external ideas to influence what I wanted to do with my life and um, to, that, to just hone in on how I trusted my inner sunshine and, my, and I was rooted in my um, beliefs like a tree um, to really um, make this decision for me. So these were my values and I was rooted in them and I let my power, my inner power and my resources, I relied on those to achieve this very tough decision. So how do we gain more self-reliance in our lives? One way is building our own inner confidence. Um, like I said before, our confidence allows us to trust ourselves and it allows us to um, make those really tough decisions in life. Making your own decisions, I'm a firm believer in this because if you don't make your own decisions, you don't learn what works best for you and you don't learn um, what what type of values you have in order to um, make these types of decisions. And then deciding who you want to be and how you want to do that, uh, and how you want to get there. So this has to do with setting goals and attaining those goals through those values that you have and through your inner power and trusting your judgment and um, relying on your intuition rather than external forces. And 
So I want you right now to write three things down you value and that you will that will return you to self-reliance. And as closing, I just want to say, in a few months from now, we, are, we will leave the four walls of this school. And we're going to have to decide what we want to do and who we want to be. So for 12 years now, you have been told what to do, and now it's your turn to make your own decisions and be the person you want to be. Follow your eternal light, your ray of sunshine, the power that, that manifests inside you, and stay grounded in your roots like a tree. Explore, trust yourself, and be self-reliant. Thank you.